Hello, power users. In today's tutorial, we're looking at a duo of glue features that have great synergy with one another, plus a smaller feature that changes the behavior of Elementor forms. We're talking about the OTP form action, the login form action, and Ajax reload prevention. To get started, we need to toggle all three features on by going to our Glue Settings dashboard in the back end of our website. Let's go over the setup we prepared for this tutorial. We have a form with four fields. The first is an email field, the second is a password field, the third, which is the phone field, is a tell field. This is the type of field to select for this feature to work correctly. Then we have a remember password field, which is a checkbox. Looking in the advanced tab, we'll see that we've given each field an ID. It's important to remember that these IDs are always case sensitive. Let's go to actions after submit, where we'll see that we've selected glue login and OTP form action. Let's start by setting up the login. We have the option to use the WordPress standard login type, where we can let the users log in using username or email, a password, and give them the option to remember the password. Moreover, we can also use ID and phone, which is email or username plus the phone, and even email or username, password and phone all together. The latter is what we will choose, making sure to map all the field IDs as necessary and requested. As you can see for the phone, it doesn't just ask us for a field, but also for a meta key. We'll take a look at how to set this up in a bit. But before we do that, let's also set up the OTP form action. Here we have many options. First of all, we can select if the OTP will be sent by email or SMS. SMS requires an API source, and Glue supports Twilio for this purpose. In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate the email OTP. But the steps for the SMS are just as straightforward. Let's map the email field again. This is where the user will receive the OTP. We can set the email message and the text over the submit button. But there's also resend options. The from email field which lets you specify which email the user will receive the message from. The subject field, and you can send as HTML or plain text. The OTP field label which we'll see in the front end in a minute and there's the ability to set up error messages. In the style options, we have some styling settings and the possibility to set the writing to right to left. Before we see all of this in action, let's talk about the phone meta key we've encountered earlier. Let's open the users tab in the back end. This is the user we've created for this demonstration as a simple subscriber. Inside, we've added a meta field called user underscore phone, and we've added the user's phone number. This is because natively, WordPress does not support phone numbers for their users, so we need to manually add this field. However, once the meta field is set up, we can get the user's phone number using Glue's front-end user registration and editing. This will be mostly used for the OTP, but also in case we're using the phone and email login type. Let's open the form in incognito so that we are not logged in. Let's enter our user's details. As you can see, we're prompted to enter the four-digit OTP. This is the OTP field label we encountered earlier. Let's jump to our inbox. We've received the custom mail with the OTP code. We can submit the form only after we've typed in the code, and we'll get a custom error message if we enter the wrong code. Let's enter the correct OTP, submit, refresh, and we're logged in. Of course, we can set it to redirect to somewhere else after login. And this is how you set up your own login form using Glue. Let's do this again so that we can showcase the third feature of the day. As you can see, after we've submitted the form, the information we filled in did not get removed. Usually, Elementor will clear the form data on submission. This is not so much an issue with the login and OTP form actions, but if we're using front-end post submission and editing, the user risks submitting an empty form by mistake and overriding the previous edits. This is achieved by simply toggling on the Keep Input Data After Submission option in the form settings, which is made available as soon as we toggle on Ajax Reload Prevention in the Glue Settings dashboard. Thank you for watching. Remember that you can try all of this by yourself at demo.glue.oo. Also, we'd love to invite you to our Facebook community of Glue experts. Link in the description. See you next time. Yeah.